to hear the frugal crafter today's the day i'm going to share my planner with you and um also show you how you can make a diy one for a couple of bucks my planner i had to buy two things uh to get my planner going and it cost me two bucks and everything else is from my stash uh right what i'm beginning with for the base of my planner are these one inch Avery binders. They're the mini binders. And I got these, the, I got a bunch of these actually at Martin's for a dollar each. I think regular price is like five or six bucks, but you know, not very expensive. And you can use this binder year after year. So it's a one-time investment. So get one you like. And then I also got a, um, a little kind of week at a glance planner from the dollar store. So these are out right now and they are um, right with the back to school things right at the front of the store. So it came with this cheesy vinyl cover. And so what I'm gonna do is take that off and actually cover it with some pretty pattern paper. And all the paper I'm using came from this eight and a half inch by 11 stack. I got this at Michael's like a year ago. I actually was several different patterns uh, to choose from, different themes to choose from. And it was all from the American Crafts line. And I like the eight and a half by 11 size. So I bought like four packages, different pattern uh, combinations. And, um, and I've actually used them quite a bit. So I cut a piece of paper and this is kind of like a cardstock weight, which is going to be really handle, handy throughout this project because we're going to keep using that. I cut it to the same size as my like little book here. And the thing I like this is it's week at a glance. And since um, it's, it's August 2015 through December 2016, it's perfect. It's just, you know, just what I need. Now I want to make a little... Um, kind of like a, a bookmark for this. So I'm just using some ribbon. This is from, I think, Target a couple years ago. And I actually use this also. I just tied on a piece to a paper clip and that's what I'm gonna use for my little bookmarks throughout my binder. So I made like six of these, super easy. You know, paper clips, ribbon, you probably already have stuff like that around the house that you can use. You could also use like binder clips or whatever, you know, you want to use. You can make little paper bookmarks. It really doesn't matter as long as it works for you. And uh, and that's a thing. I think with the planners, it's such a, it's such a craze right now. Everyone wants to be more organized. Um, so it's very important that that's what your planner does for you, that it doesn't just become one more thing you have to do. So I thought really long and hard before I made mine. I'm putting this ribbon right here on the paper I'm going to cover my book with. And I'm going to, you know, you could use Yes Paste. That'd probably be even a better idea. But I just want to get this ready to use. And I'm using the ATG adhesive because it is strong. And I'm going to go right up to the edge of that. And you could do the edges with uh, washi tape to make it a little bit stronger. I may end up doing that. But for right now, I just want to, uh, want to show you how I'm covering this. And yes, paste would be a little bit easier to work with just because if you make a mistake, you can, you can fix it. But there we go. And uh, there, wherever I am, we are actually August 3rd. So I'll just pull that that marker right there and that's going to go in one of my pockets here in my book. So let me show you kind of what I have here. Um, I've got different pockets, I've got different dividers which are I guess called dashboards in the planning industry. So here I've got um, checkbook, pens and a pencil, a mechanical pencil because it has extra lead in it and I can add more. I've got this pocket for my weekly planner so I can actually take this out if I just want to have that. Um, then I've got my month at a glance and if I show you what I've been using for the last couple of years, I usually just get these or dollar a piece of the dollar store and it's just month at a glance calendars. But see what happens is you'll see I have all this mishmash of stuff. I print off emails of projects I'm working on. Um, I shove them in here. Like I have this huge piece of paper with a couple long-term projects I've shoved in there. Lots of sticky notes, lots of stuff written here and there. And it's, it works all right. But as I get busier, I'm finding it's not the best solution. So here I decided to take that monthly, month at a glance thing that I like so much and put it in my planner. And I found some printables by, um, by uh, let me see, I know it's on the printable, uh, scatteredsquirrel.com. And they actually have the 2015 and 2016 downloadables for free. And so I printed off, I just decided to do the rest of the year for 2015 just to see how I like this before I print off everything. But um, so the, the benefit of something like this is that, okay, I can write, you know, if the kids have a camp or if I have, if I know I have um, like a, a conference call plan on a certain day. I'll write those things that I know that I have coming up in my schedule on these days. So then when I go to set up my week on the little planner here, um, I can kind of carry that stuff over. But if I'm planning like way ahead and I'm not even near there in my booklet, I can just go in here and then I can kind of see everything all at once. Um, and so what I did was I just made a little tab here and I'll show you how I made these tabs. I just took a little one inch, one and a half inch by like two inch square, fold it in half, and then just use my corner rounder to, uh, to round the corners. 
and then I washi tape that to the edge. Okay, so you just with some black washi tape. So I did that for the rest of the months for this year. And then when we go to our other dashboard, like here's household. Now I'm going to show you how I made these laminated ones. I really recommend getting a laminator if you'd like to do a lot of projects like this because it's not very expensive and it's so useful. So what I did was I took one of those pieces of paper and I laminated it. And I, I cut off the excess on the long sides, but I left it on the short side. So what I'm going to do is cut this in half, uh, cut the paper in half, and not really worry about the um, the side edges. Just want to slice that, and then I'm going to round these two flush edges, the ones that are kind of flush with the paper. And you could do two pieces back to back if you wanted to. It wasn't really that important to me. I know I'm not really. Um, as creative as a lot of the planner people, but my planner is going to be very functional. I didn't want to have something that was just going to be um, extra work. I wanted it to be really, really useful. And that's in the rounding of the corners is more to like keep it from poking you or wearing down. And then um, to punch everything that's going in my book, I'm using a three hole punch. And what I did was um, I took a piece of paper and oh, here's my template right here. And I set it next to my binder here and I drew lines from each of the spokes and then when you look at your three ring binder and this is a lot better than using a single hole punch just because everything's going to be uniform I slid the little metal things as little knobs to adjust them on the back I slid them over so that they would line up with those um, they'd line up with my marks and then I punched and that was my template so uh, when I could, I held it to my book I made sure that it lined up with the way I want then I put like a little bit of chalk marker or pen, paint or whatever right there so I'd know where I needed to line things up when I punched them and so here I'm gonna punch this on the edge with the extra plastic so it'll make this sheet jut out a little bit more than um, than the others and it looks like I punched like it's gonna fall through but it's not because I have all that plastic there that way when I put a um, like a little tab like I just made, when I add that to the edge of this, it's going to stick out a little bit further than the ones that I had for like the month, the months, see? The months are, are recessed a little bit more and the dashboard ones are sticking up further, so it's just easy to flip through and find everything I need. Now, um, so the way you organize your planner is going to be different than the way I organize mine. So you, I would make a list and that's what I did right here. I just listed the different categories I wanted to have. I wanted to have month at a glance. I wanted to have household. So like if I could kind of figure out if I have an idea of what I want to make for dinner, I could write it down. If I have a grocery list, I can write it down. Um, anything, household things like chores, like uh, projects I see need to be done, like I want to repaint the trim, but I never get it done. So if I write it down here, hopefully I can look through and see, okay, I've got an hour, I can do that. And I can uh, kind of pick away at some of those projects. I put kids as their own category. So if I know I have to get cleats or I have to get... Um, you know, this or that, or they've got a list of things that they need. I can keep that all separate there. And Schoolhouse, that's the name of the place where I sell my stuff. Um, I made its own space so I could kind of write down things I wanted to make for the Schoolhouse to sell. And also, I could put my uh, price tags and different things right here because I know when I'm like pricing things, I'm always running around like a, you know, chicken with its head cut off being like, oh, I got to go print off more labels. It's such a pain in the butt. That way I'll have everything ready. And um, hopefully that'll make me a little more organized. Of course, the big thing will be to use this planner, not just make the planner. <laughs> Okay, so I want to show you how to make the, so that's how I made all the little dashboards, okay, and that's my, or dividers, and um, to make the pockets, super fun and super easy, what you're going to do is take a piece of 8.5 by 11 cardstock, and this is the same stuff that I was telling you I've been using, and you want to fold it in half, just like so, it might be kind of hard to see your fold. But what you want to do is fold your edges in like a kind of like a house. Do that to both sides. I really thought I'd have this planner, this video down to like a couple minutes, but it doesn't seem to be working that way. And then um, take a piece of washi tape. It doesn't matter what color, you're not going to see it. It's just going on the inside. Or any kind of tape or whatever, glue. It doesn't really matter. That's just going to keep these flaps from poking out later. And then I've been doing all my uh, visible kind of like tabs and stuff like that in black. So I'm going to do that. I'm sealing up the bottom of this pouch. And then I can trim off the excess. And then I'm going to seal up the side.
and punch the edge so that it can go in my book. And this is about as thick as I can get. Oh, we got confetti. Maybe you could think of something to do with all that confetti you're going to make. And then I'm going to line the uh, thing up with the mark I made. And then just punch it. And that will go right in my go right in my book. To make the filler paper, it's very easy. Just take regular office paper. Cut that in half. Punch it. And then you've got your filler paper. And uh, you can find printables for your calendars online. I do want to show you though, um, if you make a mistake and you need to fix it, I'll show you how to fix that. So you can see that these will just all go in. Was there any other tabs that I needed? I don't think so. So your little pockets and your dividers can go right. You could do your filler paper. It's all going to go in there really easily. Pockets and dividers. And then you could even take this right there and put that in with the washi tape. This is how you add your dividers in. All right, I'm just going to do a long piece so I can wrap it around because I'm going right on the edge here. And you could put whatever else you wanted to in your book. I'm going to flip that around. And there you go. Another thing I wanted to mention is that I printed my calendar pages on one side of cardstock and then I left the uh, the back side so I could put notes and whatnot. But you could print them double sided if you want. Now I did make a mistake a few places punching my holes and I ended up punching them on the wrong side. So to cover that up, I used washi tape and um, I think it looks kind of funky. As you can see, I made a few mistakes during the um, monthly calendar printing, but um, that's all right. You can use that technique to cover up any mistakes that you make during your calendar making process. And here's a look at the finished planner. I had just taken some pattern paper and slid it into the clear view um, panel in the front and side of my planner for decoration. And I didn't, that's all I did for that. Um, you can see I've got my little week at a glance book that I can take out or leave in. Super handy. Got my checkbook, my pens, all the little dividers, AKA dashboards. I guess that's what they call them. And um, plenty of paper for notes. Of course, you can put in more or less of any of these things. It just depends on what is going to work best for you. I want to thank you so much for joining me today. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and let me know if you're into this whole planner craze or not. I'm really curious because it seems like a lot of people are really loving their planners. So um, I'm glad to make one on the cheap. Thank you so much for watching. Please share this with any of your friends that would be interested in this on Pinterest, Facebook, Twitter, wherever. And uh, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.